All right, we're going to move on to this. Ryan Reynolds is poking fun at classic Disney films. He was tweeting that many of them should be rated R for irreversible <laughs> trauma. I mean, he's kind of got a point, particularly in the old uh, original Disney movies. But are there any popular kid movies that really left a kind of like traumatic mark on you? I think all of them. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Like, is it just a Disney thing to make all the movies without mothers? Yeah. Or that's crying. traumatizing. <laughs> just go like through this, all of them. There's an abandonment theme for sure. Abandonment. Like sometimes she's not even there. I'm like, how'd the girl get there? Anyway, <laughs> there's that. There's one, another one, and not just because I have horses, but the never-ending story scene. Oh. I just watched I it on the weekend. Oh. I just, I had forgotten right? it, and I had it on for right? the, for Jaya mm -hmm. and his friend, mm -hmm. and then Derek's daughter, actually, to be specific. And there's a horse, and it's sinking into the. Don't say too much. Don't say too much. I'm sorry, I had to just that. step in there. Yeah, that was horrible. There was that? I, think, I do think that early movies of art, when we were growing up, they were trying to kind of like let people know, they were like lessons on life. They're like, life is gonna be tough. You're gonna have some death in your life. You're gonna have some trauma in your mm -hmm. life. And these are ways to kind of maybe safely process these emotions. I mean, the question is like, are we maybe, maybe we've gone too far away from that stuff and we really try to like treat kids with kid gloves with mm -hmm. I don't think, I, I hear you, what you're saying. And I think that like, it, Maybe the thesis here is that Disney is like the modern parable. Right. Or with, like biblical stories, which were designed to teach you a lesson and give you life lessons. Yeah. The, the problem is, is that the Bible, I don't think, is marketed as a child's book. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like these movies are marketed as, um, you know, and the Bible has all the scary stories. Locusts well, yeah. and the famine and all terrible yeah, kids are stories. reading. The kids are reading kids the Bible. Reading it. It's not the kids section of the whatever. <laughs> no, but right? it's meant for everybody. Uh, yeah. So, and I wonder, it's that, the kids, it's marketed to children, yeah. or was at least, and then you go in and you, it turns out like, oh my, like Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm with you on the moral though, because I feel like those kids' movies, they do have something of a moral of trying to teach you something, even like the modern Pixar ones, like Encanto and Turning Red had all these kind of messages about generational trauma and like things like that, and even just like learning about periods, which hopefully for children was not traumatizing and was in fact like, oh my gosh, I can finally learn about this thing that was already going to happen to me. So I think those are great, but I do sometimes, you know, there are things I watched in school and class that I kind of wish the teacher had kind of been like, this might be a little bit sad yeah. or say something <laughs> <laughs> instead of like just putting on yeah. Charlotte's Web and being like, it's oh, going to be fine. <laughs> Right? Yeah, totally. totally. I remember um, I, my my parent, my dad, I think it was, you know, introduced me to Lady and the Tramp. Yeah. And he, from an immigrant, thought that it was just, oh, cute movie about dogs. And then I, then it, there, it was dog cruelty, the movie yeah. was. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I, I, and I, I, it was very hard to watch. You're still traumatized. Yes. <laughs> Lainey is still traumatized. It's true. It's true. Now we're all going through the catalogs, right? And I heard going, oh my gosh, our kids can't watch anything, it feels like. Hey there, and thanks for sticking around. Wasn't that just fantastic? You know where you can get some more all-around great content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with all the laughs and thought-provoking chats you could ask for. So do yourself a favor, like and subscribe now.